What is going on? I uh, want to do a quick live today. Um, talk about this. This is really going to offend a lot of people, but it's what I've been seeing lately. I ain't saw growing up friends, uh, family members of modern women raising toxic sons. Something that we don't want to talk about. It's interesting how there are women out there that will say that their son is their, their, you know, their son is a mama's boy. You know, that's my son. I claim everything about my son, but it's toxicity that I, uh, you know, put in him. So I just wanted to talk today and let you know that a lot of these modern women need to understand that your your son is not your man. Your son is not the man that left you. Your son is not. Uh, you know, the man that you chose, ladies, and, and, and left you and never came back. That is not your son. Your son is not the man of the house. You got to go around telling a 13-year-old, 15-year-old that he's the man of the house. And you're putting that on him. Every time you look at him, every time your anger is centered towards him, it's not that you're angry at him. You're angry at the fact that he resembles his dad. Uh, maybe he has some of his dad's traits and you're looking at him as if he is the dad. And he's not. He's not the dad that, that walked away. And I just seen out there how, um, you know, we have these discussions, we talk about it. And like I said, I will admit, a lot of the times these women are the ones that are raising these children alone. They're raising these young men by themselves. That has to be tough. That has to be rough. That has to be something that is just so much. But we also have to talk about the side of it of the toxicity, the negativity that that little boy is growing around. The, the men that you bring in his life. The guys that you're dating. Dating toxic men choosing these toxic men and then when these toxic men do you wrong you're talking bad about these men in front of your little boy and saying men ain't nothing men ain't you know they'll never you know they, they can't get it right and and you say these things in front of your young little boy and you're molding him you're molding him to be in that mindset of maybe he'll become that he heard so much about it. He heard so much about what you hated. Maybe he'll become that. Maybe he'll come across a, a woman that is toxic just like you, as negative as you. You know, you always think about when somebody grows up is that, oh, you would think based off of their surroundings that they wouldn't want a toxic partner because they had a toxic dad. No, that's the opposite. You would think because a guy grew up around a toxic mother that he wouldn't want to date a toxic woman. No, it's the complete opposite. So you ladies have to understand that the guy that you chose to be with, the guy that you chose to lay with, that was your choice too. And both of you, equal parties that were in a relationship, are to blame. You're to blame. You know, a little boy grows up thinking that it was all his dad's fault. Then he grows up and sees maybe my, my dad, yeah, he was at fault, but my mom was at fault as well. There's a lot of angry women walking around that have not had counseling, never had counseling, never had anyone hold them accountable. They'll see a post online and it triggers them because they're unhealed. They'll see a video and it triggers them because they're they're not healed. They've never had anyone sit them down and say, what about your issues that you are responsible for this? What, what about, what was your contribution? And, I, and it's amazing. I make these posts on my page and I talk about men need to do this. And women say, amen. And I say, men ain't doing enough of this. And, and women say, amen. As soon as I say, women ain't doing enough of this, Crickets, MIA, defensiveness. Think about it. Every time I post something about why don't women do this, they'll follow up with, well, why don't men do that? 
They can't even answer a question. They can't even focus on when they're in the limelight and we're talking about you right now. Are men perfect? No. Are women perfect? No. But for some reason in this society, we have no grace for the men. If it's the woman, oh yeah, how did she, she came through, she made it happen, oh that's awesome. Oh yeah, she made a few mistakes, oh pray for her. You know, she, she's not perfect. But when, it, when the man is in the same scenario, oh he's no good, oh he'll never get it right. Well, that's why they're all messed up. Think about this, ladies. If you are dating someone, if you dated a man, and you dated five straight men, right? Right, so five men in a row. That's what I mean, right? And they're all bad. They're all toxic. They're all negative. They're all cheaters. They're all losers. Who chose them? And why were you attracted to that? If, if quote, unquote, you're a winner, and you're a high-level woman, why are you attracting these low-level people? You should be so high level that they're like, oh, no, I, I, unless I'm 100 percent where I need to be, unless I come correct, I can't even come across that person. So accountability this year moving forward, I hope a lot of you ladies have accountability, accountability that you're not always right. Accountability that you need to work on yourself. Accountability is that you're not the best communicator. Accountability is that maybe you are sometimes selfish and, and need to be a better teammate. Accountability that maybe you need to go get counseling. Accountability that maybe you need to improve your self-esteem. You need to work on your self-worth. There's so many women out there in relationships right now that are telling a man that he needs to build their self-esteem. No. A woman builds her own self-esteem. Guess when she was a kid, her dad should have helped her with her self-esteem. Her mom should have helped her with her self-esteem. But when she gets older, she becomes the sole. She's like, she's the sole, like, creator of building her self-esteem, her self-worth, her value. Yes, a man can throw out compliments. Yes, he can say nice things. You know, yes, he can not say things that are verbally abusive or mentally abusive, Right? But she has to make herself happy. All I, I see all these videos. I so women saying I left that person, right? Women, you know, seventy percent of the marriages are ending divorced by women because, you know, they're ending these right marriages, right? And they're saying he didn't make me happy anymore. It wasn't his job to make you happy. Ladies, it's your job to make you happy. It's your man's job to make himself happy. Now, when you two come together, you want to make it to be a safe space that is a peaceful environment. But if you are dependent on each other to make each other happy, that marriage is not going to last. Making yourself happy is a solo project. When you wake up, it's a decision. I'm going to be happy. Happiness isn't just for bad, um, good days. Happiness is for bad days as well. Waking up and saying, oh, man, I got a flat tire. Still going to be happy. Oh, man, I lost my job or my business is not doing the way, you know, how I want it to do. I'm still going to be happy. Happiness is a choice. And actually, it takes more energy to be unhappy than it does to be happy. So I want to just talk to you guys directly out there and say the ladies out there that are raising toxic men and you're single mothers, right? And you're raising these young men. Watch what you say about men in front of these little boys. Find men in the family that you trust that, that are stand-up men. An uncle, a cousin, right? A mentor. Yes, you can't raise a man. We understand that. But there are men in your life that you can you know, showcase to your little boy so that he sees what a man should do, that a man takes care of his business, a man follows his dreams, his passion, a man he provides, a man um, is comfortable with expressing his feelings and emotions. That's another thing I want to talk about. How many times I've seen uh, little boys being screamed at and yelled at by the mother saying, stop crying, man up, stop whining, stop, why you cry? why are you acting like a crybaby? minimizing the little boy's emotions and then he gets older and people wonder why he can't even deal with 
things that you're supposed to have an emotional reaction to because his emotions were suppressed as a kid. These boys were raised by toxic women. So, like I said, kudos to the women out there that were able to raise a child, raise a little boy, you know, but you have to make sure that you're doing right by him. Yeah, I wish the deadbeat dad didn't leave out of his life, yeah. But you chose that man. You made an executive decision to be with that man, to lay with that man. And now that he's left, now sole responsibility falls on you. Now you need to start reaching out to mentors, reaching out to family members that will be a good influence on that little boy when he grows up. He doesn't need to hear from you what a man is or what he should be. He doesn't need to hear from you. He doesn't need to hear your interaction or your bad dealings with men. He doesn't need to hear that. You made a bad decision. He doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't need to hear about your dates. He doesn't need to hear about, you know, you dressing up. You got you got this, this uh, nice little date you're going to be seeing later. He doesn't need to hear about that. Only time he need to hear about that is when that man uh, that's quote unquote taking you out decides that he wants to marry you. He decides he wants something serious with you. So I just wanted just to talk to you guys directly out there. there. There's so many angry women out there. There's a lot of happy women out there. There's a lot of women out there that are enjoying their lives. There are a lot of women out there that are single mothers that are doing amazing. They're surrounding the little boys with the right type of men. They don't hate men. They don't bash that child's father um, or, or, or bash the, yeah, the child's father in front of the child. They don't do that. Still have a respectful relationship. There's women out there that's doing that. But I'm talking specifically about the toxic women out there that are bashing these men on all these social media platforms saying they're no good, they're nothing, they're losers, they're bums, they're, they're lazy, right? And I, and I do a follow-up question to all that. I say, well, if, that, if they were all that, why you choose them? Why you lay with them? They didn't just become that when you start laying with them, start kissing on them. A lot of these ladies think they can change these men. A lot of these men are broken. A lot of these men didn't have the upbringing that they should have had. They didn't have the man around. They were raised by single mothers themselves. And what happened? Those single mothers bashed men in front of them as well. And they're just continuing that generational curse mindset. So I know a lot of people don't want to hear this, but I just want to let you know that to the single mothers that are out there, even to the mothers that are um, you know, in a, in, a, in a marriage or in a relationship, stop bashing men in front of your little boys. These kids are smarter than you think. They're listening. They're saying to themselves, wow, she's bashing him. I wonder what mama think of me. Maybe she think I'm a bum. Maybe she think I'm lazy. Maybe she think I'll never be anything. And it's amazing how the kid gets older and older. And the things that that lady or that single mom said about the men, when that little boy is older, she starts saying to the little boy when he gets older. So he started hearing from the mom, you a lazy bum. You'll never make anything of yourself. All you do is just lay around, do nothing. You ain't going places. Got to break the cycle. And I'm just going to be making these posts about some uncomfortable topics. We're going to talk about relationships. We're going to talk about, you know, women accountability. We're going to talk about men accountability. We're going to talk about sex. We're going to talk about so many different topics because if we don't talk about it, how are we going to improve? My goal isn't for it to be a man versus woman or woman versus man. My goal is for us to get on the same page because we're, we're not where we need to be. Relationships are suffering because of poor teammates, selfishness, no self-love, no self-esteem, no counseling. Not talking about anything. Some really childhood trauma issues going on in these relationships. I look at a lot of these posts out there and I and I be saying to myself, that person is hurt. Anytime you see all, all you see is anger from a woman on her post, or just anger, anger, anger. That is vent, pin up, hurt. That has never been addressed. And she's still mad at her dad for leaving. She's still mad at um, the, the men that she thought were the one 
leaving her stranded. So now everything she has in her mind said the five men, the 10 men, the 20 men that she chose. Now she's saying all men are this. All men are that. And it really isn't all men. It's just the ones you selected. You got to be a better selector. Same thing with men. You can't bash all women, say they're all this, they're all that. You chose those women. So you were a bad selector. Become a better selector. Get counseling. Get your mind in order. Start following your dreams. Start following your goals and vision. And the right people are going to find you. So that's just my thoughts, folks. Peace.